Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Agni-5 is India's most powerful nuclear ballistic missile. The intercontinental ballistic missile boasts range in excess of 7000 kilometers. Agni-5 can bring almost entire Asia including the northmost part of China as well as some regions in northern and western Europe under its striking range. DRDO has also developed an advanced version of Agni-5 with various improvements which is called Agni-5 Mark II. The first stage of Agni-5 was made up of 250 grade margin steel which has been replaced with carbon composite in the Mark II. This has drastically brought down the missile weight by more than 20% which enables the missile to hit beyond 7,000 km and it can be further modified to easily achieve the distance of 9,000 km. DRD is also developing the submarine launch ballistic missile which shares a lot of similarities with Agni series of missile. And the reason why we are talking about the SLBM because a NOTAM warning was issued on 13th March which is having the maximum length of 3,000 550 kilometers and this NOTAM is expected to be for a test fire of SLBM from INS Arihant. Now there are two long range SLBMs which are under development by India and they are K4 and K5. Talking about K4 missile, it is a nuclear capable intermediate range submarine launched ballistic missile. It has a range of about 4,000 km and it has been developed by significantly compacting the Agni 3 series of missile to ensure it can be launched from India's nuclear submarine INS Arihant. This missile is a 2 inch stage missile weighing 17 tons and can carry warhead of up to 2 tons. The missile is also capable of performing 3D maneuvers as a countermeasure against the ballistic missile defense system. On 19th March 2020, K4 was successfully tested from a submerged platform located in the coastal waters of Andhra Pradesh. This test was undertaken in the full operational configuration during which missile covered a distance of over 3,500 km in approximately 21 minutes, achieving a near zero circular error probability. Another test of the missile was successfully carried out on 24th January 2020 which was the final developmental test of K4 after which the missile is reported to be ready to enter into serial production. With the K4 submarine launched ballistic missile completing its development stage and ready for induction, DRDO has shifted its focus towards development of a 5000 km range submarine launch missile K5 that matches the surface to surface Agni-5 missile. K5 is an SLBM with an operational range between 5000 to 6000 km and the missile will be able to cover all of Asia, parts of Africa, Europe and Indo-Pacific including South China Sea. The missile is a three-stage missile fueled by a solid rocket propellant and it's capable of carrying warhead of up to two tons. It will be India's second MIRV capable of hitting multiple targets or single target with multiple warheads. The K-5 missile will also feature countermeasures to avoid radar detection and will be the fastest missile in its class making it an indispensable weapon. The missile is also being developed for upcoming S-4 and S-4 star SSBNs of India. These submarines will be larger than INS Arhant and will have 1000 ton more displacement. The new SSBNs will also be able to carry twice the number of missiles as compared to INS Arihant. The K-5 missile will play a crucial role in building India's nuclear deterrence and nuclear triad. It will be interesting to observe which missile will be tested on 13th March. If DRDO will test K-5 SLBM, it's going to be its first trial. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.